Chief Meteorologist Ed Bloodsworth with your first alert storm team forecast. Well, overall, very cool, tranquil weather day on the Gulf Coast. A lot of mid and high clouds. That's been kind of common over the last couple of weeks, and that's what we're seeing out there right now from Dolphin Island Sea Lab. This is our Eastern Shore Toyota camera. Again, most of these thin clouds made up of tiny ice crystals just floating on across our skies. And with these kind of clouds, we get these vivid sunsets. We'll have another one this evening. Grand Hotel, a point clear. That's our GMC cam, a live look there. So as that su sun gets low on the horizon, I think we'll see some brilliant colors there. So make sure you have your phones and have your cameras ready. We want to see your weather photos this evening. Fort Walton Beach, also some of those high clouds. Overall, pretty quiet scene over northwest Florida. Show you the water vapor imagery. We've had a little bit of dry air aloft here sitting over our neck of the woods, but our next weather maker, the one that we just made mention to a few minutes ago, is right here big upper level system. It's actually kicking off some thunderstorms across the central part of tech, uh, Texas. Again, this will help to kick off a surface area of low pressure in the Gulf. I don't think we'll see severe weather out of this, but again, a very wet 24 hour period comes our way. In fact, we are certain we'll get wet a 100% chance that you'll need that green and Phillips umbrella. As we look ahead this evening, we're going to keep it mostly clear. If you have any plans out there, weather is going to cooperate for you. Just bring the jackets. It'll be chilly right around 40 7 a.m. tomorrow. Light to moderate rain. 42 for your temperature and then by 4 p.m. the rain showers will start to wrap up but your temperatures will struggle to get to the 50 degree mark thanks to the overcast skies and persistent rain through the day tomorrow. Right now 56 is your temperature in Evergreen. Same for Mobile 52 on the eastern shore in Fairhope. We're at 54 in Navarre and also for Leakesville. Breezes pretty light out there now, but with that system passing by, we will see some gustier winds as we move through tomorrow. In fact, tomorrow morning, winds will gust to around 10 to 20 miles per hour, generally speaking, higher gusts along the coast. But as that low moves by, you'll notice some of those gusts approaching 30 to 35 miles per hour along the coast. So again, cool, wet, and breezy, just kind of a raw Wednesday on the Gulf Coast. Another look at the predictor showing when the rain moves in tonight. Again, most of this light to moderate rain initially. All of the intense thunderstorms likely going to stay just off of our coast. All that moves out. We'll, we'll keep it cloudy through the afternoon hours on Wednesday, and then we'll get rid of the cloud cover and actually get back to some sunshine here for Thursday before the next rainmaker looks to roll in by the time we hit that weekend. Bottom line, it is a up and down seesaw forecast for you. Cold and rainy tomorrow, 49. Back to some sunshine, warming up 55 on Thursday. Another rainmaker coming in Friday night into Saturday. Could have some thunderstorms with that one. And the third system that we're watching closely could bring us a few strong and severe thunderstorms early next week. Bottom line, got a lot of rain ahead, so have those umbrellas ready to go. Now.